installation of a periodontal instrument. So the angulation of a periodontal instrument refers to the answer is angle between the face of the blade and the tooth surface. Angulation of a periodontal instrument refers to the angle between the face of the blade and the tooth surface. Angulation or tooth blade relationship refers to angle between the face of a bladed instrument and a tooth surface. Correct angulation is essential for effective calculus removal. For subgingival insertion of a bladed instrument such as curet, the angulation should be close to zero degrees. Electronic device is contraindicated in answer is pacemakers. The techniques that make use of electronic devices such as electrosurgery and ultrasonic scalars are contraindicated in persons who have a non-compatible or poorly shielded cardiac pacemaker. Functioning of a pacemaker may be can be affected by answer is magnetostrictive ultrasonic scalars. The functioning of a pacemaker can be affected by magnetostrictive ultrasonic scalar Miller et al found that atrial and ventricular pacemaking was inhibited by magnetostrictive ultrasonic scalar but new model cardiac pacemakers often have bipolar titanium insulation that shields the units from the sonic type devices making magnetostrictive piezoelectric and sonic instruments generally safe for use on people with pacemakers. The instrument best suited for root planing is answer is curate. The instrument best suited for root planing is curate. The relationship between the working edge of the instrument and the tooth surface is called as Adaptation. The relationship between the working edge of the instrument and the tooth surface is called adaptation. Adaptation refers to manner in which the working end of a periodontal blade is placed against the surface of a tooth. The objective of adaptation is to make the working end of the instrument conform to the contour of the tooth surface. Precise adaptation minimizes trauma to the soft tissues and root surfaces and ensures maximum effectiveness of instrumentation. The Gracie curate is identified by answer is both A and B that is double carved blade and blade at 70 degree angle in the shank. Probing depth of a pocket is assessed by answer is Williams probe. DNA probe is used for identification of species specific sequences of nucleic acids that make up DNA thereby permitting identification of organisms. Dental instrument is used with a push motion is chisel chisel is used with the push motion. The chisel scalar is used in anterior part of the tooth of mouth for the proximal surfaces of teeth that are too closely spaced to permit the use of other scalars. The instrument is activated with a push motion while other scalars are activated with pull motion. A dental instrument which creates aerosols containing large number of microorganisms is answer is ultrasonic scalar the offset angle of gray curate between the blade and the shank is 70 degrees universal curate is universal gracie curate is area and surface specific 
universally curate the blade is universal is at 90 degree angle to the lower shank and ray secured the blade is not a 90 degree angle to the shank the offset blade angle is 60 to 70 degree both inner and outer cutting edges are used in universal curate and blade is curved in one plane ray secured only one cutting edge outer edge is used and blade is curved in two planes root cleaning is done to remove cementum that has been altered in contact with answer is endotoxins root planing is done to remove cementum that has been altered in contact with endotoxins when cementum is exposed to plaque and the pocket environment its surface is contaminated by endotoxins and these toxic substances are superficially attached to, to the root surface these portions of cementum and residual embedded calculus are removed from root surface by root planing procedure sharpening of dental instruments is helpful in increasing efficiency because it reduces slippage and less tissue damage it increases tactile sensation it in decreased muscle fatigue a tight grasp by the operator on the explorer will prevent tactile sensitivity the most effective and stable grasp for all periodontal instruments is modified pen grasp this due to tripod effect created by the thumb index finger and the pad of the middle finger it ensures greatest control over the instrument and also enhances manual variability and tactile sensitivity the palm and thumb grasp is unsuitable for precise and and controlled movements as it inhibits the maneuverability and tactile sensitivity it is useful for stabilizing instruments during sharpening and for manipulating air and water syringes main aim of root planing is to remove necrotic cementum the objectives in polishing teeth include answer is removal of stains films and dental plaque production of smooth surface which is more resistant to reaccumulation of stains and deposits during activation of scaling instrument the facial surface of the blade and the tooth surface should be at an angle of 45 degrees to 90 degrees the exact blade angulation depends upon the amount and the nature of calculus the optimal angulation during scaling and root planing is between 45 to 90 degrees during scaling strokes on heavy tenacious calculus angulation should be less than 90 degrees so that the cutting edge bites into the calculus an angulation of less than 45 degrees and greater than 90 degree will cause the instrument to slide over the calculus and causes burnishing of calculus an angulation of greater than 90 degree is indicated for gingival curettage cases while sharpening curettes and sickles the internal angle of 70 to 80 degrees thank you